Welcome to the studio guys. Today a new bike. This is my new bike and the bike is really new. I bought it from the store unused. This is not a testing bike but it's a 2014 uh, model year I think and because it's got the SRAM brakes on DOT4 uh, oil when you brake the brake will stay like that for a couple of minutes. So when I start braking at the top of the mountain and I go down the hill for a couple of minutes, the brake will actually stop braking after hitting the bottom of the hill. So we need to fix that. It's all about the master piston here in the, in the brake uh, and those little seals because they are swollen from that dot four, dot, sorry, dot 5.1 or dot 4 oil. Let me show you the repair kit. This is the repair kit or service kit. That's how you want to Google it um, to find the store. You only need two for one brake and the other brake. I have two spare repair kits or repair parts because probably it will get swollen after a couple of years of usage. This one is fixed. This one isn't fixed yet. We're going to do this one. But listen to the difference in how they work, how they operate. The old one. And the fixed one. Since you know the difference now very well, let's fix this one too. We're going to start with removing the hose. And for that we need the 8 millimeters wrench. And I'm using a little helper here. Now it goes easily. We don't have the oil here. Nope, no oil there. This oil can damage painted surfaces. Now we can remove the shifter on the matchmaker. Mm -hmm. Ta -da. This is how it looks like. Here's our brake and the piston we have to replace is somewhere here inside. We remove the lever first. Torx 10. Now Torx 8. Just memorize how it was. It can only go through like this. You see this ball was there on the spring. Mm -hmm. Weird. I have different pistons on the left and on the right brake. These are new brakes. You actually don't have to open the reservoir, the oil reservoir, uh, just in order to remove the piston and replace it, but I'm gonna replace the oil as well, so I'm opening it. Shh. 
here's why we have to do this the old piston assembly 944 that's that's its diameter and the new one seems like not big of a difference 926 924 and it makes all the difference it's time to assemble it Oof, I'm gonna be writing beautifully on this We need to wait a little with this bolt. There exists a special tool for that. I did order it a couple of weeks ago and it will come within 14 months. <laughs> so we are doing it like that. Mm -hmm. Now you need to press it in. Then you just press it in and we turn this against this arrow and once it gets on the thread it will pull it in it's all the way now now we need to set this distance right here from here to here for 26.3 Okay, a little bit locked tight here. And not too much force here. Mm -hmm. Not correct. Correct. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Ooh. And the next step will be bleeding. Yeah. 